Well, if you've watched the last video first, uh, I don't really order my videos, put them in order or anything. I just, I'll, I'll film a bunch of videos and then they'll sit there and I'll release them here and there. So I have content going at all times. Um, cause I can't always release them when I film them. Cause as you see, a lot of times I'm driving. So anyways, my GPS took a crap yesterday. It, it's been giving me warnings, overweight limit warnings and low bridge warnings when I'm getting on freeways, when I'm at truck stops, places where you know there's no problem. So I uh, sent Rand McNally a message and told him what's going on. They're like, yeah, no problem. Go ahead and run um, uh, GPS repair, which is in there. There's update and then there's GPS repair. They said, yeah, something got corrupt in it and it's gone goofy. So yesterday or last night, like a dumbass. Yeah, I'm calling myself a dumbass because what was I thinking? I know better than this. I get to my 90 and I'm going to park there overnight. So I check my phone out. I've got a little bit of a signal. So I turn on the hotspot and start the update, the GPS repair. So it's moving really slow. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just let it run all night long. And in the morning, it's going to be good to go. So I plug my phone in at, the, at my bunk there because I was on it before I went to bed. And I went to bed. Well, I have the phone set for some god-awful hour, like 4.30 in the morning or something. Um, and uh, luck, I, I always like to set my screaming meanie for like if I want to get up at 4.30 I'll set it for 5 that way I can get up by my cell phone and if for some reason the cell phone don't work that thing's going to go nuts before I have to actually leave so because I didn't need to I need I wanted to check it at about 5.15 and you know they don't start unloading till 6 my appointment was at 6 so I set my phone do everything with my phone throw it on the counter throw my CPAP on yeah for such a skinny handsome guy I have to wear a CPAP No, no, I don't want to see nothing in the comments about that. Hold on, I want to show you. Okay, it's a screaming meanie. I always thought it was a screaming meme, but it's a screaming meme, meanie, meme, meanie, and this damn thing is loud as hell, man. Um. I can't remember how to turn the damn thing on to make it scream. That's probably a good thing. But anyways, I set that and it's my my go-to. So I wake up a couple of times last night and uh, check my, clock, my phone like I always do to see what time it is to know how much time I have to sleep. So I'm doing good. Everything's good to go. And all of a sudden I wake up in the morning. I see light coming through the top of my curtains. I'm like, oh my God. I jump up and my phone's off. It, the battery went dead. I unplugged from the wall back there. So I didn't even think the screaming meanie didn't go off. So I'm thinking I'm late. I jump up front and turn my GPS on. Well, it's not working so it doesn't show the clock. It never updated. I'm trying to figure out a clock so I plug my phone in. Oh, I looked at the screaming meanie and it said 5.05. So I'm like, oh, thank goodness I'm not late. But I got to get going. So I plugged my phone in and when it came back on, it said it was 4.35. That's what time I had the screaming meanie set for was at 5.05 to go off. So that was all funny. But anyways, let's get to the point of this video. Man, I get sidetracked by so easy. <sighs> the GPS. I bought... It wouldn't work at... Lowe's, uh, Lowe's loves Wi-Fi and everything. When I was driving over here, I used the uh, the hotspot, and it got to like n number ten at twenty-two or something, but it just didn't update. So I went ahead and I bought Lowe's or uh, uh, Pilot's enhanced Wi-Fi. Uh, I had credits on my Pilot card, so it updated. It actually, I took a shower and it was updating. When I got out of the shower, it was almost done, and before I left the shower area. It's, it said it was successful. So I'm excited. I'm going to throw the damn thing out the window if it don't work. But here, let's check it out together. I'm going to power it up. And 
normally what it does it will get to the truck screen I'll tell you when and then if you try to select anything it will sit there for a minute and then tell you that uh, um, it's not responding do you want to wait or do you want to press OK so right now I see it says Rand McNally so it's booting up please work please work please work that's all I got to say I really don't want to deal with this no more because after all this what am I going to do it's going to buy a new one 400 bucks okay it would get to this screen but if I press anything on this screen it will just sit there and eventually time out well, I don't know what that noise was what did it just do oh it wants me to connect to the pilot uh, to the pilot thing which no I want to uh, why is it a blank screen now I went back with the back button mm. Okay, I hit the home button. Now let's do it. Okay, that's where it would get. It would just sit there, and then it will just time out and say, "You've." Oh, it works. It freaking works. Thank goodness it works. I cannot believe it. It works. Oh, I just saved me four hundred bucks, and but it would have been a good video of me throwing this out the window and running it over with the truck. But that would have been a $400 video. I can't believe it works. Let me just... Maintenance reminder. No. To select a location on the map, press and hold. Okay. Let me just see what it does. Let me see if destination works. Destination worked. It's the... This is what the thing looks like new. I always have it on old school, though. Like the old one. Just because there's one less step. Now, is my address book still in there? My address book is still in there. I got to put a card in here to store more addresses. Man, guys, I you don't even know how happy I am. I am freaking happy as hell. <laughs> yeah, it works. Damn. Damn, it works. It's I got to reset everything up, though. Oh, I'm just curious. What does it have for truck weights and everything in here as a default? Uh, yeah, 80,000 pounds, 33,000 pounds empty, which I don't use. I always, I always have it think the truck's loaded. Because I don't ever want to go a route going to get loaded and then uh, forget to change, you know, change it to I'm loaded because you have to manually tell it you're loaded or unloaded. I set it to where it automatically defaults. I'm loaded at 80,000 pounds, 13.6 high, 8.6 wide, and... 80 feet long, so whatever that is long. Oh, that brings me to a, a, a point yesterday coming down the whatever it was, 86, or I can't remember what I was on, going to uh, coming from Alabama into Mississippi. All of a sudden, there's a warning a 13 6 bridge coming up. And I can see it's a railroad track overcrossing, still girder deal. And I remember asking. Um, my trainer, hey man, if I ever ran across a 13-6 bridge, is that cool for me to go under? And he's like, I wouldn't. He goes, he goes, what I would do is I'd pull over and wait and see if someone else went under it. And then I guess he's never seven years driving and he's never encountered a 13-6 bridge. So I asked on a message board one time, I forgot we were talking about something. And I said, hey man, what about a 13-6 overpass? Would you drive under that? And a couple people said, eh, he, ha, hu, ha. one guy said, hell no, that's when he calls the sheriffs and gets turned around and goes around. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, because I always wanted to measure one of these trucks, but I'm thinking to myself, you know, they're calling the truck 13.6. When you get on toll roads, it says no vehicle taller than 13.6. Um, well, that don't matter, I guess, because I didn't see any 13.6 bridges. So anyways, what I did is I thought to myself, you know what? 13.6, you've got to be able to go under a 13.6. How stupid would that be to make a truck that's 13.6 and a bridge that's 13.6 so you, in, you know, hit them? Uh, otherwise, they should say the truck is 13.5 or 13.4. So I'm thinking these trucks are probably only like 13.3 or something. Who knows? I don't know. I have to, I'll, I'm going to measure it one day. But... 
anyway so i pull up to the bridge i hit my hazards because this is a one way this way one way that way i hit my hazards and i come to almost a dead stop luckily there wasn't really any traffic behind me and i start creeping under this thing and after i get under it a little bit i uh, open my door and I look up and it's like pff, I got a couple of inches <laughs> I'm good I could have flew under this thing it's just don't hit a bump so I just moseyed through it real slow and, and made it through and everything was fine but yeah I was puckering a little bit and of course as soon as I went through it and got you know quarter mile up the road there's semi box trucks coming for hauling ass the other way so it's like man I wish they would have went through there before uh before I did and the other thing is I was passed by a couple of trucks but they could have turned before that bridge because there was intersections but anyways that's again it's just a story I hope you guys like these stories and ramblings and you know I get all sidetracked and everything well, what the hell did I show you my screaming meanie for I don't know anyways I'm happy my GPS is working I'm gonna set it all up and uh, Rand McNally's tech support was useless as tits on a bore and they're outsourced um but yeah they were pretty useless man they just i would love to video what i'm seeing right now but i'm not i'm not into uh shaming people um it's just a dude having a problem backing up uh but it looks like he's got it now uh, that brings me to a point I was at. I was watching a prime truck about a month or so ago in the rain, in the dark, and he's having a hell of a time just trying to straight line back. So I'm like, oh, man, it's freaking raining. And I watched him do this for a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I got to go out there and help him. I could have been like all the assholes out there and flipped up my phone and <laughs> look at this guy because he's pulling up, backing up, pulling up, backing up. What I didn't understand is there was a much easier spot for him to go into where he originally went, but he elected to go this other way. So I was just about getting ready to get out of my truck, and I noticed inside his truck there's two people in there. So it was probably a student, and then the teacher was in the passenger seat. Of, I can't see it being vice versa. So I'm like, hell no, am I getting out of my truck and getting soaking wet if the guy in his passenger seat ain't going to do it? So after forever, the guy in the passenger seat finally got out and stood in front of the truck and, you know, gave him the this way, that way update, you know, all that. And uh, he got it in there, but... I couldn't believe, man. I was ready to get out there and help him, and I'd have been an idiot out there getting soaking wet. Well, him and the other guy would have been cozy in the heat because it was pouring. That could have been why he was having a hard time is, he was, you know, the rain was just blocking his view. But uh, all right, man. You guys have a good one. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.